This is Eyewitness News at 11. One shot, one shot, one off. Wow. And then it was just hectic after that. Stone faced when he pulls out a gun. Police say a man calmly walks in and shoots his parole officer. And good evening to you at 11 o'clock. I'm Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. When the shot rang out at the parole office in downtown Brooklyn, it was a mad scramble for anyone inside to get to the doors. So what happened and why? I went to news reporter Carolina Lee at the scene with our lead story. Carolina. Well, Bill, 49-year-old Samuel Salters is recovering in the hospital tonight. He has been a parole officer for almost 18 years. 50-year-old Robert Morales is under arrest. He was on parole for both murder and assault. The two had a meeting here tonight, a regularly scheduled meeting. The difference this time, Morales allegedly had a gun he was ready to use. Waiting to see my parole officer, and I heard a shot go off. And when the shot go off, it was hectic after that. People running around. Terrence Cofield says it was sheer chaos. The most frightening part, he says, was not the gunshot or the screaming, but the look in the gunman's eyes. Looked like he was just regular. Was old, you know what I mean, middle aged white guy, just long haired ponytail. Like he was just, like he was just, like I said, the same face he had when they bought him out, was the same face he had just sitting there, a face with no face expression. Cofield says the man was wearing khaki pants and a gray hooded sweatshirt. It happened at the State Division of Parole Office in downtown Brooklyn just before 7, a place where parolees check in with their parole officers, a lobby without metal detectors. Witnesses say the parole officer called the man into an adjoining room and that without a word, the ex-con shot the officer in the arm. Other parole officers were able to convince the parolee to put the gun down. He was handcuffed and arrested. The hurt officer was rushed to Bellevue Hospital. That's crazy because I just was telling them in the office, we work literally across the street, and for us not to even hear it or notice anything, that's technically unsafe. As this investigation unfolds, detectives covered the building and closed off the area. The question, why did this man walk in and open fire? And, and right now, Officer Salters is undergoing surgery. He is in guarded condition. We're live in downtown Brooklyn. I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Carolina, thank you.